Siddharam, everybody. As we get set to start this evening's proceedings, I want to invite young Rishana Maharaj to the mic, to the podium, and she'll, she'll be our master of ceremonies this evening as we get into tonight's discourse. Let's give her a round of applause before she begins. Sitaram, dear devotees, 
A warm welcome to the first night of the Bluebird Sports and Cultural Organization, 36th Annual Nine Nights Panchauti Devi Yagna, conducted by Pandit Keshava Gosain of Hindustan. Each night of our Yagna will feature a youth item. Tonight being the first night, we will have an introductory message on behalf of the Bluebird Sports and Cultural Organization by Sri Gautam Maharajji. Sitaram, this is not the youth item. I'm doing the introductory message. The youth item is um, by our Vidyalaya Preschool, which will, the children will be here in a short while. Vyasri, Pandit Keshava Gosain, and the group, Pandit Sunil and Dev Maharaj, uh, we usually have Pandit Dudnath Chedi with us also. Members of the Bluebird Sports and Cultural Organization, devotees, sewaks, and bhaktas amongst us today, members of TV Sankhya. A warm welcome, swagatam, to the 36th annual Panchauti Yagna. This year we are doing a Devi Yagna, as you would have seen the proceedings taking place prior, where we walked in with the book and we did all of the rituals that was necessary to have a start. Um, this Panchauti Yagna has been born out of the behalf of the people of this community. So that many, many years ago when this organization was founded, the founders would have thought it fit to spend their time in sharing of knowledge through inviting a Vyas and having this type of satsang or Yagna. And how it supports itself, this village, for those listening on air and who haven't reached the Yagashala as yet, is by the contributions, small and big, of members of this area, and in some cases outside of this area. So it is not a case of a private funding by one person or so. It is every person take joy, love, and contribute in their small way. Like today, I was driving along, and I met one of the aunties who come to peel takari and so on. And she was walking, so I said, yeah, that's Tante Polo and Tante Mira and so on. So I said, you want a ride? She said, no, they'll walk. And in her hand, she had her knife wrapped, which she keeps special every year, looking forward towards this date to come to peel alu and to do all of that. It's so touching to know that the, the essence and the spirit of Panchauti is so much alive in the community. So too, I met one of the persons who um, sells milk and so on. And he said, when, is, when the yagna started, he said, right, you know, I'll drop the milk and all of that kind of thing. So it really sparks that spirit of togetherness, that spirit of understanding that all of us in this world is really one family. In fact, we teach in our Balvihar Vasudeva Kutumakam, the whole world is one family. And it is on this premise and this basis that this yagna continues year after year and is in its 36th year this year. So that for those listening, uh, please join us in the nights to come. Please, uh, if you wish to be a contributor in some way, uh, we welcome everyone, not only for this yagna, but for many of our activities, which are all towards man-making, positive samskaras. We have our preschool that will do an item, a Chinmaya Vidyalaya, and um, you will see how the young ones, how they perform. We have a Bal Vihar, which takes place on Sunday mornings. And usually the theme, Balvihar, Sparks want to think music and dance and so on. But this is really character building. Whilst music is part of it and mantra learning and so on, it is character building. Because I need to say no more on the state of our society in terms of the decadence. And if one is to only follow the tenets of Sanatana and Dharma, surely we'll be in a better place. I'm sure you would agree. And this is what we imbibe in those children. The technique is emulation, where we teach by doing, and they see and learn. Very, very powerful uh, mechanics of, of an education system in teaching by emulation. We also have the Ram Lila, uh, which our youngsters and some of our older members take part in. We raise funds for the Wali Nagar sales. We have a monthly satsang, and as you are here, our annual Yagna. We celebrate all other um, auspicious events in the Hindu calendar, and we do a number of other sewa projects and so on. So afterwards, after Yagna is complete, I'm sure you can chat with us in some way if um, you would have gained some interest in being part of the organization. That is all, um, all, all the door is open. 
We have just recently completed AGM and we have had new members taking positions and so on. So if you feel like you are ready to do some sewa in terms of serving as a member also, it, it, the door is open. To those on air and any other online media, I know the boys were setting up a Facebook. Bluebird Sports and Cultural Organization is located in Sukhan and Ramsabad Trace. You can um, access either through the Rochard Road Pinal or through the Rochard Douglas uh, Valley Line Road on the Barakpur side. It's a very beautiful scenic area. It's primarily a farming village. So do take a little um, drive one of the nights and visit us. You'll certainly enjoy it in addition to what Pandiji would be sharing. So I ask of you to subject yourself as a shishya to the lotus feet of our Vyasji Keshava Gosainji for the nine nights of our annual Panchauti Devi Yagna. I'll hand over to Rishana who will introduce the um, youth item. The youth item for tonight will be done by the Chinwaya Vidya Laya Preschool Barpo. They will be chanting the Shiva Panchakshara Stotram for us. Thank you, children. God bless your parents. Great job. Everybody, let's all stand as we begin now with our team. Please 
Draw your hands together. Close your eyes. Ladies, please come here. Here. Ajam cha, varti sanyuktam, dehi na yoji tam mayam, ivam rehana devesham.
Baba, Prabhu, our moment has come. We walked that Sri Mad Devi Bhagwat Mahapuran into the Yagya Shala with a lot of celebration and pomp and respect. We've done the requisite puja, and now it is time to listen to the mother's discourse. Please give me the darshan, please give me the ability to sit and listen. For those looking on at home, may I be so blessed that I can, without disturbance, without any distraction, listen to the discourse that is about to come. Together, everybody. Om. Gajananam Everybody Kapet Jambo Alujana Bhachitam Umasutam Shoh Namami Viganeshwara Sarva Mangala Mangali Shri Sarvata Sarike Sharanye Karamlike Gauri Narayani Sakshat Param Brahma Tasme Shri May you all please have your seats. Make yourself comfortable. Again, cordial welcome for anybody who came in after. On behalf of the management and membership of Bluebirds, Tonight being our first night, we enter into Devi Bhagwat, where we are listening to the power of the prayer to Adi Shakti Mata. As the nights progress, because we are outside of the Nauratri, we can listen to different discourses that are given. Discourses that are relevant to the person, for example, who is going to get married. And I want to pray on behalf of, you know, before I get married, I want to make sure it doesn't end prematurely. The Hindu is guided to pray to Adi Shakti in the form of Mangala Gauri or Mangala Chandima. This is just one form 
we will hear about different ones. One is called Manas Devi. Manas Devi is one of the daughters of Lord Shiva. And you will hear, and the reason why I mention it is so that you would learn something different. This is my aim, to give you knowledge about Adi Shakti in a way, in a package form that you will remember it, you'll be able to use it, but you would learn from it. There's so much in these texts that we do not get to touch. Gayatri Mantra, all these different things. Tonight, the word Bhagwat comes from the fact that Gayatri Mantra, the glory of Gayatri, righteousness is given in these texts. And according to the first few adhyay or chapters of this text, it says because Gayatri's history is given in this text of all the Puranas that we read. This is why one of the names it is given is Devi Bhagwat. The Bhagwat or the, this, this text that deals with Devi, in particular the purification rites that Gayatri Mata could give. As we go, I, I, I expect that people will have questions, things that we could clarify, things that we could answer. And I invite you to give Auntie Raji and the young boys and them, write down your question for me. You don't need to put your name if you don't want to. And let me answer it in a way the next night for everybody to benefit, everybody to learn something. There's no such thing as a stupid question, as some people say. Once we learn and better our understanding, the intention is once we understand our God better, then the yagna is a success. If we are bringing, if the purpose of the yagna is to bring our people closer to mother's feet or to the form of God, to her worship, to understand clearer why we do what we do, then the yagna is a success. In every, ed, in every project, in everything that we enter into, we must know how to measure success. Did we achieve our objectives? Is it only when we have plenty people or plenty children okay the jag was a good jag it was a good to know not necessarily when people understand their god better it could be five people listening to that conversation but that will yield more blessing because at the end of it these five people will be able to talk to god do worship better understand the workings of god better Prem Sibolo Adi Shakti Mata Ki Jai. So, before we go into our conversation, please draw your hands as we do Devi Bhagwat Sumiran. Close your eyes for just a second, brief moment. And as we all pray, this is a moment for calming now. The Chandan is on my forehead, Prabhu. When I was coming in, chandan and perfume is being shared. Bless me and allow me to forget all the worries, all the joys, all the different things that turn up my mind. I'm going to listen to the discourse of mother. For just a little bit, please give me the ability to focus. Help me to remember and recall what I hear. Gaudi Shambho Gita Guru Govinda Ganapati Gang Sumire Vyasa Bhasha Karata Devi Katha Prasang Jasunde Hamati Mati Vishaya Tita jo jagamat, matina legat jai rupa ko mati prida kadhyan sakala nigama utam sanamani rile ka jagavan madhu bhavani ke charna. Sukhagan Shri Shankacharya Aru Mata Pita Shiranai Devi Bhav
भागवत ग्रंथ के देवी भागवत ग्रंथ के आशाल गनाया या देवी सब भूतेशु मातृ रूपेण सिदा नमस्त एवरीबॉडी शक्ति रूपेण सिदा या देवी सर्वभूतेशु जया रूपेण संसिता नमो नम प्रेम सोलो आज शक्ति माता की Tonight we enter chapter four of the first volume of Devi Bhagwat, and in this fourth chapter, this is where the greatness, the Mahatyam, a little information about Devi, and how do you do this type of yagna? This is something. The devotees sitting for puja and myself, we had already gone in. Sometimes people think that when you are going to do yagya, well, easiest thing to remember is I need to fast. But there is so much more than simply fasting from meat. Do you know there are vegetables we also fast from? Tonight, as we. Going to this, I'm hinting these points so that when you hear it, you'll remember it. Further to that, the text talks about the mandal or the diagram on the baby. It talks about the types of offerings that are to be made, and the types of sometimes the behavior that we leave off when coming to do this type of yagna. If the yagna is supposed to be or would be a success. Yagna translates into sacrifice. That word it means sacrifice. So this chapter, the fifth chapter, we're doing the fourth and the fifth tonight. Fourth one gives you an illustration of somebody that needs help and what he does. And then the fifth one, the shishya says, "Tell me how should I do? I want to emulate that fella. He does prayer and he gets through. He's happy. Tell me how to do it." So that I would be able to get optimum blessing and benefit from my prayer. Devotees tonight, please pay attention to some of the details that our texts talk about, because you and I sometimes we're doing prayer, we look the part, but because of the darkness in our heart or in our mind, the type of thoughts we have, we're waiting for the blessing to come, and it might never reach. Instead of getting a hundred percent benefit and blessing from something as significant as a yagna, sometimes we do pray, we do pray, we do pray, and it is only stress. And you, there will come a day in everybody's life where you ask, "Why we just bother for thirty-six years? We doing all this, and if me I see benefit, will I see benefit?" So tonight, as we start. We enter into a conversation where the guru is speaking to the son of Lord Shiva, Kartik Kumar is speaking to Agast Muni, and he is asking about people who have done Devi's worship. Agast Muni is a great individual, but he says, "Oh Kartik Kumar, tell me who has done your mother's prayer." And what was the benefit? What was the outcome? Where did it work for them? How did it work? Please tell me. He says, "I am a great bhakt of Lord Shiva. I am a great bhakt of Lord Vishnu. 
but I know very little about your mother. Please tell me. Let's hear what happens as Guruji is saying. Kartike is about to speak and he says this question that you ask will benefit many people. Let's join together. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shakti Rupena Samstita Namastas Yei Namastas Yei Namastas भगवान तम ये नहीं आते ये आतम about why this text is developed that when she showers a grace upon an individual Brahm, Vishnu and Shiva bow to the goddess for displaying her true form he says oh son oh August Muni listen he says today I will give you a discourse where a person uses my mother and her text her discourse, her worship for elevation. He says there is a Muni by the name of Ritav. Ritav was very famous, very knowledgeable. And he wants only one thing in this life. He wants to have progeny, he wants to have children to continue the good works that he's having. The things that he had learned things that he has teaching all his godchildren shishya he prays to lord shiva but something unfortunate happens when it is time for the child to born now the 
baby is going to come in very inauspicious time. The child comes when Revati, that nakshatra, Revati, is running. The Rasi name is pegged against this nakshatra that we all are born under. When we call the pundit and say, Baba, good time, bad time, the child now reaches the hospital. Could the father see? What is the Rasi name? What is the name? And the Baba looks to see the time of birth and he sees the star, the nakshatra that the child is born under. The last portion of this star was running, happening in the atmosphere as this child was born. Let's hear what happened. Satrasya Jat Karam Padi Kiram Daya Sanshayatam Shudha Karma Sanskaryate Shoya Karto Yatam You know, some people say, Baba, when they have trouble with children, Baba, you just make your children, but you don't make their mind. Very regular, you hear that statement. But in Hinduism, in our dharma, we don't agree with that. From the time the child is conceived, our books tell us, check from the full moon or the new moon, the odd days, the first day, the third day after, the fifth day, the seventh day like that, will yield girl children. The even days, the second day, the fourth day, the sixth day, will give you boy children. And every day, the second day, the fourth day, the sixth day, the eighth day, will give you a different type of child. One will be the politician, one will be the athlete, one will be scientific, one will be the musician. A different disposition, a gift this child will be born with. If done properly, we make our children with prayer in our dharma. When the girl is pregnant, three months, six months, eight months, sanskar is done. The eight month sanskar, our people now very confused in today's in today's world. We say Chatti Sanbarahi. Chatti is really Shashti. One night we'll read that discourse. Because there are many people who, Baba, we have in Chatti Sanbarahi and we want to share liquor. We want to make meat. And we'll offer meat in the five pan leaf with Lapsi and Sohari when the girl is now six days when they're doing the first bath. One night of our yagna, we'll discuss that. What it is, is happening. What is going on there? What and what is supposed to happen? He says further, this father, Rita, prays for this child. And when the child is now into the world after doing all the sanskar while the, the baby was within the body, the first introduction, the first meeting when everybody is going to see the child for the first time. He does that prayer. Nam Karan Sanskar based on the, the what what the the Patra has, the nakshatra. He says, Oh baby, in your air, right there, from today, your name is Robin, and you belong to the Suku family. I don't know where you came from. I don't know what family you were belonging to before, but from today, you belong to this dynasty, this family. Till today when people are doing this prayer, this is how it is done. The father first gets the blessing to whisper into the child's ear. And on the left side, he says, baby, I bless you. One day you'll become a great musician. You'll become a great athlete. You'll follow in my footsteps. You'll become a great businessman, whatever you have. Whatever you wish for that child in that initial prayer, that blessing carries a lot of merit. Watching his child grow, Anna Prashana Sanskar, where the father and the mother are cooking. Imagine for children to understand. You do the puja, you have the hawan 
blaring and we put a pot in the oven and we are cooking now the first solid food, sweet food, no salt. We put a little sweet rice and the father mash the grain of rice and he feeds the child for the first time. Around four to six months, depending on development. And he says, bless your mouth, bless your esophagus, bless your stomach, bless your intestine going out to the rectum. Bless your entire digestive tract. Don't let you have any sickness or trouble, but develop properly in the name of God. The father does this too. This prayer is done. And proudly he sees his baby growing, growing. Now the baby reaches one year. It is time to cut the hair. Mundan Sanskar is done. This is the prayer for just to remind you of what you already know. After they do the baby puja and bless, let's say the razor or the scissors or the machine, they tie little chunks of hair, little pony, one to the front, one to the back, either side and one in the middle. Baba is chanting mantras and in a pillow of gobar, they cut the little clumps of hair and they place it there. May your brain be done and after that they cut now, very low. That first hair carries a sin, so usually you will see they pay somebody to cut that hair. When the hair is cut, the roots, the hair root in the person's scalp has to break down to facilitate new growth. So the parent is begging. It is now time for your brain to start to work faster and more vigorous. So now we cut the hair. So when the hair roots start to break up, fall off, the brain gets a little space inside the skull for it to develop. Immediately for those that have gone to see the sun scar. The little child starts to behave differently. They want to be independent. They don't want mommy to hold hand. They don't want anybody to touch them. That time they could do it themselves. The independence and the strength of the child immediately starts to show. And the parent collects the hair. Together with the nounia or the now, whoever cuts the hair, they go and they bury this hair, safeguarding this hair from the touch of negative people. Should that hair fall in the wrong hands, trouble could be theirs the father is looking on and he's seen one after the other imagine if it were you the right set of prayers is being done what could go wrong what could happen that my child would be different i am only expecting greatness and great things from this child you close that prayer he receives diksha he ties his janeo showing and illustrating that now he's free from the sins of his previous birth why do you wear that janeo following that lifestyle it shows the beginning of your studies religious studies it gives the permission for vedic study but it also has a secondary motive the janeo is 94 times the span from your index to your baby finger in terms of size or the length of the thread and when the person wears this, when it adorned, when the senior pundits place it on him, the sins that follow our individual from their previous birth is burned away, is moved by the chanting of Gayatri, the day that Upanayan Sanskar is being done. The father lives healthy to see this moment and he sees his son give Andiksha, the Guru Mantra. And he thinks, ah, I am a good parent, I am doing what is needed, what has to be done. Let's hear what happens. Lo shi lo bha parityatam tat mat api tasyacha bahuro ka drita ye nitya shauchi dukha dukha kritya ye mrita sham Come on everybody, help me sing tonight. When prayer is done correctly, when prayer is done correctly, oh August Muni. Good things, good omens, good signs are supposed to come. 
However, when this child receives this Guru Mantra, different traits start to establish themselves. Anger and greed, different disrespectful tone from his mouth. The mother of the child, her body is riddled with all forms of disease. And in the home, it is as if they are always sorrowful, always some form of misery, some form of hardship. Ritvak says, what am I doing wrong? Why am I always going through some form of pain, trouble? Look at my poor wife. Her body is being bent and twisted. Her skin is discolored. What is bringing this trouble? Sarya si chinta putraya te Palla palla ni tariya tam Mena siksha punya ya nastik Ye matur dhargaye aati He says, Agasmani, if it were you, what would you do? The husband, the responsible husband, goes and see what he could do to save his wife and to help this child. This child has turned out to be a disappointment. This child has turned out to be different. And what he does, he goes to Garg Muni. Garg Muni is somebody like a fellow pundit to him. But Garg has the knowledge of what we call Patra or astrology. When you go by your Baba, this is a Hindu text. But you notice we do RT the Patra book. There's a reason for that. Gargmuni wrote the book. When all the different saints had gone to Lakshmi Mata, from a historical perspective, they say, Mother, we have worked out the science of prediction, astrology. We've worked out the science of numerology, the mole on the person's body indicative of different sin. The signs on their forehead, the lines, the lines in your hands, palmistry, all guiding your children so that they would have a little headway, a little idea of the mistakes they've done before. So that it would give them an opportunity to elevate themselves. What are we talking about? When a child is born and parents look at the body, and they see that there's a mole on the right thumb that means according to the text that this person will write very eloquently speak very eloquent great journalists should look look into doing textbooks and so on to teach other people in many examples as such what about if the person has different marks on the body for example if god made each and every person equal how come some people are born crippled some people are born without a limb or without an eye or without the ability to hear or speak one example gird pran is what i'm quoting from right now he says if a person loves to listen to gossip I am not gossiping, but I love those juicy stories. Then in your next life, when you are born, this will not work. 
So the reason it is like that is to indicate to the person, you know what, maybe in my last life I used to enjoy things, listen to things that were not positive. I should atone for that type of sin. When a person has hearing problems, one of the things that they give in charity, a simple example, is rice. So sometimes when we have yagna, puja, whatever, and you hear somebody saying, Auntie, don't worry, I would like to give, I would like to donate the rice for the puja. You may not understand the rationale, but the person is thinking, you know what? By giving this rice, I will be able to get blessings. I might be able to save myself from losing my hearing, especially if it's in the family. Principle of Indravan Bihari Laleki Jai. All of them developed these art. And they went to Lakshmi Mata and she he says, Mother, if you endorse this book. If you, now each one is a separate book. If you allow it, people will worship this book. If you sit upon it and you will guide your children how to come out of the sansar, birth and death, birth and death. Lakshmi Mata says, uh uh, my children do not need to know their past nor their future. I do not endorse this book. For this reason, we do not worship the Patra book. Garg Muni, on the other hand, when all of them had left, he still holds on to the science of the, of the Patra. And in that Patra book, you will see different types of ways to check. Whether it's Vastu, Palmistry, different things. Just a guide. He says, I think they still need this guidance so that they can help themselves. For this reason, till today, we check Patra. Riva goes to meet Guru Garg and he says, Oh Garg, Oh Muni, please tell me what it is that is causing all this pain and suffering in my family. Why is this happening? Garg Muni replies to him, Let's join together. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shakti Rupena Samstita Namastasye Namastasye bad child badly behaved child it is so hurtful to parents that try their best do puja do worship and still this is what they receive no amount of enemy could seek revenge to cause this pain when people are fortunate their, ho their homes are blessed with virtuous boys and girls but when you do not have the luck to have good children, what happiness 
could be there for that father and that mother. Oh, Garg, please tell me. Tell me what is the cause of this predicament I am in. He says a whole race or entire family could be destroyed by one horrible son. He says, but what from one good son? So much good, so much merit could come. Same applies to a guilt child. But a wicked child, oh, oh, money, have mercy on me today and guide me. God money replies to him. Gargacharya Munistaja Vicha ye sarva Tadatu ye jodi ye dotish ye vriprayati Everybody As old friend, please listen to this. Eh? This applies to many, many people when they have children that are born in bad times. This is not your fault. It is not something your wife did or your family did. This is because the last portion of rarity, that star, was in the atmosphere when your child came into being. And as such, being born at that time. This child has brought a lot of losses to yourself, to the family, but most important to the loss of your Dolahin, your wife. She is the one who is undergoing plenty problems. Since the birth of your son, all forms of evil, sorrow, dismay has come to your doorstep. It is because of this time your son was born. Don't involve yourself in sorrow O Saru go and worship Durga and by doing something called Mool Shanti Puja those times that they that are considered bad do Mool Shanti Puja worship Mother Das Mahavidya Devi Puja is done in that prayer till this day and all the predicament all the misfortunes poverty dangers those things will melt down. Read the vows to Guruji when he says this. But in his mind, he gets angry. Let's hear what happens. Badraye Samnaye Tam Sarva Lopashate Yatam Unfortunate is the parent who blames other people for the mistakes of their children. Just as how a person is praised for being the mother and the father when the accountability comes. When there are bad times, bad actions, bad days for those same children, that mother and father cannot chip their responsibility. He says, listen to what this father did. Ritav says, if it is Revati, the nakshatra, that is causing me this hardship, today I put trap upon you. O star, fall and fall upon the earth. 
in a moment that star fell and landed on the Kodmara hill mountain range lost its luster sitting there as if it were dead Rita goes to pray to Devi Mata now that he saw the star fall Kartik says the star wanted to redeem itself it wanted to go back let's hear what the star did Ata tam prauchanya kanyam Revati kanthi samagratam Trishti nam karcha yena charitam Mudhya muni madhya yetam Shakti Mata ki Jai. The star from that star comes the body of a young girl. And a Muni was praying on that hill at that time. And when he saw the glow of her body, he refers to her as Revati because she's born from a star. He becomes like a foster parent doing all his sanskar doing all the prayer for this child even when the mundan sanskar is done some people ask is it only boys we do this prayer for when we cut the hair no boy and girl alike we're supposed to cut their hair off and allow all the hair to regrow so that the child becomes eloquent in speech eloquent in knowledge manners mannerisms etc she grows up in his care and he wants now to find somebody suitable to marry and the word is sent far and wide that this muni is looking for somebody to get married to his daughter and it so happened that the there's a young prince coming in that area. The father is doing his Hawan. And from the Hawan, Agni Dev comes up and tells him that a young boy, Durdhama, is coming here. O Muni, the answer to your prayer is that young boy. He will be the consort for Revati. Everything will fall into place. He comes from a good home without any hesitation marry him to your child while this conversation with again Dev is going on Durdama comes into the main hall of the ashram and the daughter Revati is there to receive him she says Siddharam Namaste and he says oh dear one where is your father and they meet in that moment she directs this individual to go where the father is in that one side place where he would do his hawan, etc. And he goes there and he says, Oh Muni, my name is Durdhama and I am passing just to check in on you. The Muni says, Oh young prince, is your army good? Is your treasury good? Is your servants great? Is your country safe? I, have, I am so happy to see you. Do you know that your wife is in this ashram? So the young prince smiles and he says, Muni, what wife are you talking about? I'm not married. Pramuch says, in this ashram, it was foretold that your wife is here. And we want to get you married to this individual. Her name is Revati. 
The young prince says, but I don't know anyone by the name of Rewati. May you please introduce me to my consort. The money takes him and they introduce these two individuals. And Rewati says, Father, whatever you offer me, I will accept it. How many fathers could do that today? In fact, we live in a time the father has to say, Babe, whatever you choose, I go accept. How many people get the blessing of the father in this day and age? How many young men? Do you, what type of home do you live in? You have a daughter, yes, fine, good. One day she we really want her to get somebody good, blessing for that. Everything is timing with schoolwork and all that. But do you train your child that, babe, one day somebody might come to like you. Will you bring that person out of respect for your father or your mother? Arguably, everybody's afraid to talk to daddy. But this person who took care of you, did all these prayers I'm describing here tonight, gave you the name that he whispered in your ear. Do you think it is right, devotees, that you invite this individual to your wedding? Well, boy, I'm getting married Monday. Oh, come now. For some people, that is what they experience. What is going to happen in your home? Our Dharma dictate that the father has a say in the choice. That he has at least, if he didn't find the person, let's say you meet the person in school, but at least let him approve. Give him that option to say yes or no. I accept or I reject. But as one goddaughter said, is either yes or yeah. Either yes or yeah, daddy, you can't say no. The father loses all control now. In this home at least, the daughter says, Daddy, whatever you decide for me, I'll accept it. But I have one condition when it comes to this wedding. Let's hear what is this condition. The father says, Babe, if you accept my recommendation, anything you ask for, anything, I'll do it. Tell me, I'm happy with how you're talking to me. I'm very pleased. Please tell me what is this condition. Jai Bhole Baba Tab Sharna 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 Jai Sambhasada Shiva Tab Sharna Salaviva Sanskar Yogi Satave Satave Purisha Revat Kataye Ye Nakshat Ye Paushana Vya Ye Ati Jai Bole Baba Tab Sharana Jai Bole says father I know soon you will sit with the relevant guru to set the date for the wedding I know and I understand and I accept the importance of that date let the lagna be appropriate let the time be suitable whether day wedding night wedding early day late in the night whatever it is I leave all that to you choose the appropriate time I agree but my request is, let Revati the star, the star that I came from, let that be the ruling star whenever the wedding is going to be done. The father says, but dear daughter, that star because of the shrap or wreath of is sitting lifeless on the mountain. How can it be in the sky in time for your wedding? He says, the girl says, I know 
Munirita gave that strap. But daddy, you are very powerful. If you do dhyan, if you do med meditation, penance, jap, all of these things, you can make the possible come impossible and that star could return. If that star does not return, my life would not be complete, oh father. I am part of that star. Please understand my predicament and help me. Pramoksh goes and he gains guidance. Skan Baba, Kartik Baba says, the father goes. He said, blessed is the father of a girl child. That when that girl child is born, she always has that father wrapped around her finger. That the soul that is within her daughter controls the life of that father. When she smiles, he will smile. And even when he is no longer here, if hardship, if tears be hers in marriage, when she cries, he will feel it, the heat of those tears. His soul, according to our text, he burns when she is in pain. For this reason, knowing these things, the father does all that he could do to ensure his daughter's happiness. If he has to be stern, if he has to be strict to coax and call and cajole that child to do the right type of choices, the right lifestyle, so that he will be comfortable in her later days, this must be done. The father becomes like a servant when she asks for whatever she wants, which father wouldn't get up and try to provide such gifts and amenities. This father goes and he gets blessings from his guru and he says, Baba, please tell me how to make a fallen star raise again. When this has fallen from the sky and is now etched into the, the body of the mountain, my daughter is part of that star and I want to get that astral body back up. How to do it? Please give me that powerful prayer to do just that. Guruji gives him that method, that secret mantra. Let's hear what happens. Nakshatra viva Revati Pradhana Rajetam Mahamuni Yuma Yeturadam Jayabole Baba Tabasharanam Jayabole Baba Tabasharanam Jayabole Baba Tabasharanam Jayabole Baba Tabasharanam Jayasaka Sada Shiva guided to go and worship Adi Shakti. He is guided to sit and listen to the Puran of Devi Bhagwat. Listen to it five times. Let the Yagna be done five times and what you are praying for you will get it. He does the worship and every day when the worship is before the reading begins he is going to walk around clockwise the Durga Murti. He gives her all forms of spices. Why do you give clove to Durga Mata? Whenever, according to the karma, according to the law, whenever I give is so I will get. When I give Durga Mata clove with the flower on it. Where in the family there is discord, disharmony, trouble, separation. The mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law are not getting along. Take clove and give it to Durga Mata. And peace, love, togetherness, unity is going to come back. This father listens to these type of discourses. Learning about mother and her form, her worship. And he waits as the days of this yagna is passing. Mother appears and she allows by her lifting of her hand. That star started to shake on that mountain and ascended into the heavenly region close to where the moon is passing. And Revati, her wedding, Vivasanskar is done with all pomp, with all glory. A 
And even when they get married now, and the father, they come to get the blessing of their fathers, the gurus. The question is asked, what do you want? His son-in-law, the young king, he says, I wish to have, I wish to have a good child. And they are only too happy to tell him about what to do. Let's hear what happens. Bole Baba Tava Sharana Jaya 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 Samba Sada Shiva Tava Sharana Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tava Sharana Lomas Yukta Nam Yeta Muni Rajan Ye Pranapatya Tambhya Yena Prajanate Vidhya Putra Ye Atav Jaya Bhole Baba Tava Sharanam Jaya Bhole Baba Tava Sharanam Jaya Bhole Baba Tam Sharana Jaya Bole Baba Tam Sharana Jaya Sam Sada Shiva Tam Sharana Jaya Sam Sada Shiva Tam Sharana He says, today I give you the, the, the method how you want to get that, what you're praying for. If you follow this method, even if your karma is not good, even if you are predestined to have troublesome children, sickly children. Loma Srishi, the person in our dharma we believe to be the guru of Jesus Christ. Loma Srishi is his name. When he came back from that area, what we now call Afghanistan, and he had been roaming all over, he came back to where there was reading of Devi Bhagwat in Bharat, in India. And Lomas Rishi got the opportunity to RT the text of Devi Bhagwat and holds mother on, her, on his head. Blessed is the person who worships the book containing mother in this form, containing the different attributes, form, discourses, chant, stotra, aksh, akshakam, different prayer to mother. That when Lomas Rishi lifted it and he prayed for, us, for his son, positive son, great family, healthy family, he was able to realize that very simply. Oh child, if you wish to have your choices, blessings, go and listen to Devi Bhagwat. Do at least five times, listen to that yagya. Practice the proper attitude, proper fasting. Chant the nine syllable mantra of Devi. Worship the young girls, make gifts for them, feed them to their mouth. Give them dakshna, little offerings of money, but food. Rub their feet, squeeze their feet. Do this worship in good lagan, good prayer, good time. When Agni is on the earth, the pundit guide you when to do ye yagna, when not to do yagna. And when Revati, your wife, will be able to give you that son. That son that you are praying for. Hearing this, they go and they do the yagna. Yatra vidhi jatam gataye ti vipranā tu yashaye atam krituye pavana rājetam sangāye na muniyāti Jai Bhole Baba Tav Sharanam 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 Jai Sam Sada Shiva Tav Sharanam Jai Sam Sada Shiva Tav Sharanam They do the worship and they talk about how they would make different types of sweets but not from other people 
the host of the yagna says i want to get involved in making the prasad for mara and every day earlier in the day they will worship and they will do gayatri mantra talking to mara and begging ma i am praying for a reason i am praying for a desire may you please grant my desire mara and in the evening time when the sun is setting at sandhya hour when the light is being lit they would prepare to have reading night after night night after night they worship the book and they offer sweet mithai different forms of prasad is given to the text the book is touched to their forehead have you ever gone to yagna and seen somebody rest their head to the book this is as if the person is touching the actual feet of our shakti kartikeya says the person who has the darshan to rest their head to the book of the devi bhagavat let them know it is as if they are rubbing the charan or the feet of mother parvati durga mata and when a person prays like this just as lomas rishi got the child just as durdas got his son that he was praying for to carry on his kingdom his lineage know that whatever an individual is praying for when it is done properly when it is done correctly when the attitude is right the person is going to achieve their goal but unfortunate for some they rob themselves of the opportunity to do mother's worship when the charhavain is being done no but i am not coming i can't do that i am not going to worship her i am not going to touch her feet i am not going to drink a panchamrit or receive her prasad i am going to rob myself today of that darshan for these reasons some people have to come again born again and go through all forms of misery but if a person learns the lesson and learns the value of bhagavat learns of learns of the value of listening hearing remembering telling of others the message of devi in this form in devi bhagavat know that whatever troubles that person is in involving themselves into expressing in their life whatever is the trouble they experiencing in their life all these troubles are going to melt away she would lift that hand in the abhya mudra abhya mudra means this hand gesture and she would lift in a moment all the troubles that a person has agast muni says kartik baba we jump now into the next chapter he says tell me how when you say how to do devi bhagavat give me tell me a little bit about things that we need to remember when listening to this bhagavat discourse Ole Baba Tab Sharana Ole Baba Tab Sharana Jai Ole Baba Tab Sharana Jai Ole Baba Tab Sharana Jai Sam Sada Shiva Tab Sharana Jai Sam Sada Shiva Tab Sharana He says go by a learned priest bonded and let him place an appropriate date many people don't understand that whenever we are setting date for wedding yagna or major events what the pandit is looking for is where is agni devta is he in heaven is he on earth or is he in patal because you will hear it about swaha and swadha there are days when he will take what we offer in hawan and move up like a elevator and deliver it to all the devotees and then there's a day when he would do swa- swadha when we offer on behalf of the pitras and take it to patal and the lower region so what we want is the day when we are starting or a day when we are ending agni devta is there to receive what we are given sometimes a good date is hard to come by for for some reasons like this and the nakshatra and other things this is why if you look at the month of august this year if you find one good wedding date it is very hard this particular year to get that for example let the person put the yagna in the navratri if the navratri is not available let them put it in positive time and let them do nava yagna nava yagna mean for nine nights let them read worship mother do her worship many patrons are going to be in- invited let them be invited with a humble calm method who is to be invited invite all kyas 
all vanar, all gender, people that are in wheelchair, people that are practicing silence, vows of silence, Mount Vrat, people that are going through different types of hardship, poor people, sickly people. Invite everybody and allow them to come and listen to the yagna. But for the person who is arranging, they must have a certain way about them. Let's hear what he says in this verse. Sahaya eva vidyayatam Evaya bhadayati Chaturai raksha raksha patiyetam Devakta pura narayati Everybody come to do worship, those that are cooking the food, those that are listening to the discourse, practice humility, the first thing, when you are walking through the door, how did you walk in this evening, remember, whenever you come to the Yagya Shala, Devi is sitting on the bed, one of the texts will remain here night after night, humble yourself, put your hands together and bow when you reach the doorway, in this way you will get the blessing from the time you walk through the door but sinful is the person who comes to the home where the mandap is being erected where the worship of devi is done where her murti is tapan curry for the purpose of yagna and the person is full of so much pride and ego that their head cannot bend such people inherit sin when they do this type of action when they are taught different when they are taught the correct way, now they know the correct activity, they must practice it. The person who is coming here should not be greedy. The person who is coming here should not be gluttonous. They should not only come for food, coming for food is fine. But enjoy and appreciate the prayer. Enjoy the smoke. Close your eyes. What is supposed to happen when you hear the sunk bellow? Drop your head, I'll tell you why another night. When you get your prasad, don't rush to open the prasad. Bow to it first. Touch it to your chest, get ready, God is coming to you. Prasad means anything that is touched by God, the essence, the, the blessing, the energy of that Devi is coming to you. Don't be greedy, but receive it with all forms of austerity. Be efficient, be generous. And most important, be devoted. Have you ever gone to pray and see two people fight for the last parcel of person? I have. Don't be that type of person. You are coming, Yagna. If the old lady next to you, she's having difficulty, get up and help. Be better. Be bigger during this Yagna. Although you are not doing puja, have the right attitude. And you will see the mother come in your life. How will she come? The person who could do these things, she will manifest in your dream first. You will see her come and she will offer you all forms of gem, jewel, food, all types of mala, flowers. Mother will come to show you her pleasure with you. Not Baba, not group, not those that are next to you, but you as a person. Sometimes when you come and there, there are more people than chairs. More people than chairs. Everybody understand? And my standing poor lady, the back is old from the years of labor. I'm a younger person. Ma, please take my chair. Mommy, I will, I'm generous today. Generous does not only mean money. Generous, look at your attitude. Ma, you sit, I will stand. Mother, don't worry. I am not saving no seat. Notice these chairs have no reserve sign. In mother's prayer, there is no reserve, special reserve here, Hannah. Make yourself small. Make sure everybody's comfortable. And you know you're on the right track. Now we're ready to receive our Shakti into you as a person. He says, let 
them get ready. Let them after all the prayer, all the Gover has been smeared under my Singhasan. Gover is supposed to be on the floor, although it is terrazzo. Where Pandit is sitting, Gover is smeared. Where the Yajman is sitting, Gover is smeared on the ground there in preparation for the energy that is going to come. But stay away. Stay away from people that will disrespect the mandap. This place where this prayer is going to be done. Don't, don't allow that type of person to come around you. In the mandap, we are supposed to have fig trees, planting trees, different type of leaves, flowers, giving that positive energy. One thing you commonly see, you will see mango leaf. Mango leaf, that five mango leaf is indicative of Lakshmi Mata. And you're saying, Mother, stand here and add vibration, add value to the mandap that we are about to host Yagna. Mother, may you please come and add your Shakti to this place so that when we start to get going, as we get into Mother's discourse, Oh, Mother, give us the energy and give us the ability to hold that energy. Tonight we are going very soft and very gentle, very quiet. But believe me, as the night progress, you'll see the difference. Let the person who is preparing to come here save themselves from violence. The day you're doing puja, the day you're having prayer, that is the day everything is going to come to test you. That is the day everybody will try to play with your brain to see what you will do. Who is doing this? You'll hear it another night. That same Durga. If you have experience doing Durga Yagna, this is the, this is the hardest job to do. Because this mother is dancing and she will try to cause corruption. Something strange, eh? This is not Baba mother. You know? This is your mother. And your mother at a personal level. Regardless of how big the crowd is, regardless of who is sitting here, how many people is watching at home, she wants to know if you are genuine. Go and ask any temple, any people that are accustomed doing her worship. She will test you to the highest form to see what you will do. The kurta sometimes gets stained, sometimes you iron in and you get burned. The children, they want to play lazy when it is time to come to the temple. Will you start a quarrel? Will you start a curse? Will you give up and say, you know what? We are going tonight. Then you just fail the test. Says when you are getting ready to host this type of yagna, it is time to leave off the violence. When the spouse is shredding your peace of mind, when that spouse is tickling you, to say it or to do it or to go with a pitch in your voice a little higher than normal just close your eyes and beg mother don't do this mother bless me how do you prepare to come and hear prayers in the evening stand up in the morning hold in your right hand like this face the east the sun with a drop of water here and ask Surya Narang Swami give me the darshan and the health and the ability to fast and to reach by that baby and to do my prayer with all forms of prayer, devotion, power but give me the ability to do it don't rob me of it why? because sometimes the test could come in the form of cramp upset stomach, different trouble give me the health to do it I have diabetes, I have blood pressure problems give me the health I don't have the health if you know my grandmother that I just, call, I just tell she she'd like to faint as she started a fast from soul, oh God boy, the room spinning, oh God boy, I'm in trouble. As a side note, remember when they reach to that age, salt now becomes like a medicine. So we let them have one meal, if it's a little bit of salt, prunes, whatever, just to keep the body up. But when you start to have problems like this, it means you need to go and talk to your baby. Go and beg, mother, please. Please give me the strength to now do your yag and don't stop me. We are about to raise up something inside this yag, Yashala. But I give my body the ability to hold.
fight the laziness. And then when he asks for that blessing, drink that water. Do that every morning. And for the person that could not do it, I never knew I could fast like this. You would see what your body could do. Let's hear. Parna ye tam lava ye ta Dharma dharma ye ni ta Prodhan vatsala devi yagya Sukhmastuya ye aati Get up in the morning and have bath. And when Aruna, the driver of Surya Narayan, you know there's a pit here where there's somebody driving the chariot and Surya is big behind. Aruna is the person driving that chariot. He is the twin of Garud who transports Lord Vishnu. When Aruna is coming, you start to say what we call day clean. It is not hot sun yet. The light is peaking on the horizon. Get up that hour and offer your dar. Offer your turban, light your dia, do your nitya karma or your sandhya worship and prepare, begin your day early in the morning. Some individuals feed their animals. If it is just the dog, feed the dog. Worship the tulsi plant and get ready to listen. When the time comes now for you to do your worship of mother, in the night you will see the devotees walking around the baby when the arti is going on, the murti is on the baby. And mother, may you hear my prayer. O oh, goddess, O oh, divine mother, may you hear the prayer where? In my mind. And you talk to her. You talk to her in such a way that mother, I am doing this, brother, I am doing this type of prayer. May you please save me. Ma, may you please save me from the trouble. Amisha Chattasan Surya Dhala Vritame Vashtaye Sanjyatam Moolak Ye Hrida Ye Patal Krachana Ye Na Tata Parta Jaya Bole Baba time when the yagna is going on let them those that are doing the prayer let them practice celibacy let them sleep on the ground so that their mind does not go into places when dreaming it must not go into places that are forbidden when we're doing this type of prayer it must not see things and experience things that we are fasting from let the person practice truthful speech and these people should fast from certain things. What are these things? Kartik says they should leave off Brinjal. Brinjal is the Hindi name for Baigan. Someone said, Baba, I heard that we're not supposed to eat Baigan. Not only the Pandit, you know. Everybody. It has a chemical in it that brings about sickness and trouble to the person's body, their hormonal cycle is interrupted. Man and woman, from whenever people are doing this type of prayer, they hold away from this particular vegetable. Different types, all types of wine, all types of oily foods, burnt food, stale food when people are fasting for Devi Yagna, they are not supposed to be reheating food in microwave you know nowadays we live in a time I don't know if you all do it here but I know people save roti in their deep freeze for two and three weeks and they, I didn't know about it I saw the person take hard solid roti like rock 
pass it in the sink in the water and in the microwave and it came back like it was made yesterday but when doing this type of prayer that type of magic stay away from that don't bring back those things let them go he says the person should not eat meat we know now some people say i hear when there are those that offer life to mother and they say you know what the meat is the prasad so how could it be bad to eat meat and do mother's worship very clearly in the fifth adhyay of the mahatyam of devi bhagwat it says the person should not eat meat different type of mansur dal mansur dal is the orange dal that you see in the grocery things that are prepared for the worship a lady should not be on her cycle her monthly cycle she should be pure clean in control of her bodily fluid same goes for the man don't feel i'm picking on the ladies but the same goes for the man he cannot have diarrhea a running cold bleeding from his body and do this type of worship it's listed here that a person should stay away from garlic and onion because these things have chemicals in them that make a person lusty so we don't want you to go far oga agasmoni let the mind be in control so what's your diet then the person dress themselves in clean clothes in preparation for the prayer when a person does this with the right attitude truthfulness modesty purity in every form not only the clothes but the mind and the speech then whatever disease whatever trouble they are praying for they are going to get it let's hear bole baba tab sharana दंडवे गंगा ये दुर्भागा मृजवे मातक ये भातक पाद्र ये जन ये काव्य श्रवण तत पर people have different type of skin problem leprosy internal problem tuberculosis cancer whatever it be let them come and pray in this way and they'll be able to beat that disease when a person has made all types of sins problems mistakes and they want to change their life let them come and pray in this way when the woman who is barren when the woman cannot have children let them pray to mother when the woman is abandoned by her husband or vice versa when there's a third person trying to get into that marriage let them come and listen to the mahatyam let them listen to the greatness of mother's worship and the worship of the devi bhagwat and let them now start to practice night after night bring in things like lime lemon citrus type fruits for mother and rest in it by her and in that marriage where it is becoming cold because of the lack of love heat the strength the passion between husband and wife will come back when you listen to these types of discourses that type of blessing is possible if a person is praying for liberation mukti that will be given by the hands and the blessings of mother at the end of the ninth day when they get the ashes or the basma of the havan kun this person has the blessing and the darshan of mother when this person chants the mantras that are given in her text that person gets the blessing as if they did all the vrat that exists niljal vrat maun vrat different types of vrat that are done to appease different forms of god 
Let them worship the young girls. Let them worship the Gayatri Mantra. Let them worship the text of Devi. And when it is time for the Yagna to done, to close, to complete, let them who has that direction to tote that book, that mother on her head, let their sins be burnt away and allow them to have the direction of what they are praying for. Let it manifest. Everybody, please put your hands like this. Asya puja purani yatam Tam bhakti kumari yatam Mahadevi sadhini devyasti Sarani bhavani yatam A man or a woman who is medi meditating on mother, dwelling in their heart, that form of Devi and Mahadev, seeing them in their heart with that smile on their face, in that form where two of them are together. Know that blessings by listening to this Mahatyam, listening to this section of Devi. Let all the money dweep, all the rulers, all the different sage, all the different forms of God sit with you and bless you. May the darshan that comes from touching the dust of the feet of mother, may that blessing be upon you tonight by simply listening to these opening chapters of the Devi Bhagavat. Prem Subhalo Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ki Jai. Devotees, let's all stand. Tonight, as time has run away, take a second and pray for yourself. Close your eyes. Too often we go to prayer, we go to puja, but we don't pray. That's dear work, that's somebody else's job. But you all have, we all have desires, we all have wishes so many people are aff affected by crime those people at home many of them are saying i can't come to barpo too far it is unsafe sometimes we live in a village and fear prevents us from leaving mother make us brave make us strong bless your children and give them the confidence to come and go with your form with them protect them oh mother thank you for this opportunity to listen to what Devi Bhagwat Yagna could give to a person the blessings as we heard about the young girl who comes from the star the power to even make the impossible where a star falls to go back into the sky to have good and healthy, happy children that will make us proud. May you bless all the children tonight. We heard the kindergarten students say that Panchakshar Stotra bless them and all of our children to be on the righteous path. If there be a parent that is undergoing pressure, may this Katha tonight show you the way. May this Katha tonight show the way for all parents. Please bless the children. Please bless our next generation with that divine drishti, that sight to do what is right. Ajamcha. Let's join together as we do close in Arjuna. now. Varti Sanyuktam Grahina Yojitam Mayam Deepam Grihana Devesham 
श्रैलोक्या तिमिदाप हम That person who establishes and supports this earth, this heaven, everything. Who should we adore more than you? Who should we offer our hands, our gifts, other than you? Yeah, God. May you please accept me. Thank you for tonight. Thank you. for the opportunity to listen and learn about your worship together with one voice everybody swameva mata swapita swameva swameva vandusha सर्वा 
ममेव सर्व ओम शांति 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 हरि प्रेम सुबलो महापति महादेव की पवन पत्र हनुमान की श्री आर शक्ति माता की इंद्रावन बिहारी लाल की सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय जय सीता सीताराम एवरीबॉडी